I can't believe it's been over one year since the last bookworm. So I'm sorry. I don't know what was going on. Um, but thank you for joining me in my library. Um, today's episode, I will show you some of my more extreme art books. I love art. I'm no artist, but I will live vicariously through my art books. So um, I'll tell you a little bit about where I got the books. And if you like the art, then maybe you can find the books there yourself. Um, I think it's always healthy to have a good appreciation for not only books, but books on art. It's a great way to express yourself. So let's just jump right into this. This is the strange art book episode of Bookworms. <laughs> We all know this artist it's Junji Ito and you know Junji Ito I guess has finally gotten the recognition that he deserves and this book is called The Art of Junji Ito Twisted Visions and it's put up by Viz Media it's actually my wife's book so thank you for letting me borrow it but uh, I think it's a really intense book if you know Junji Ito's style uh, you'll know that uh, it definitely is going to be twisted. And um, this book is uh, sort of like um, an overview of, of the work he's done for quite a while. So um, let's take a look inside Twisted Visions. Oh yeah, we know that one. Look at that. That dude's creepy. That's twisted, but we love that. We love Junji Ito and we love his twisted mind. So, so here's another uh, Japanese artist that um, may not be well known, um, Hideshi Hino. And I, I think that Hideshi Hino's artwork is far more disturbing than Junji Ito, if you can believe that. Um, if you do some research on Hideshi Hino, you'll find out that he did a couple of uh, directorial um, ventures with um, a couple of movies from the guinea pig series and so if any of you know um, anything about the guinea pig series you know that they're really really horrifying and disturbing and gross and you're gonna love them um, this is put out by press pop gallery it's a hardcover I got this from kamikaze comics in Claremont here in San Diego and uh, when I saw it I was just amazed because uh, you don't see a lot of uh, Hino stuff around. So, um, yeah, let's um, delve into this masterful grotesqueness. Yeah. Oh, look at that baby. Dude. Panorama of hell. Oh, yeah. I feel like him sometime. Dude. Maggots. Uh. Right? That was disgusting. Right? And it lovely as well. Um, so, yeah. Hideshi Hino. Do some research on him. He is by far one of the more um, disturbing artists out there. So, of course, he's going to be number one with us. 
Okay, so um, this is Death is Not the End. And this is a uh, book by another awesome artist by the name of Alexander Hare. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And um, this is a special edition uh, put out by a label called Sacred Bones. You might know Sacred Bones as a music label, but they also do books as well. And um, check this out. It's a nice soft cover. Alexander Hare. Death is not the end. And uh, Alexander also has a clothing company called um, Death Traders. And a lot of his really badass artwork is on t-shirts and patches and stuff like that. So um, let's, um, let's dig in like a grave digger into this Death is Not the End by Alexander Hare. Damn. Grim Reapers everywhere. Oh man, look at that. How'd you like to have that tattoo? I'd like I'd like it. Visions. Look at that. Dude, it's going through his his head. Demons. Those demons fighting over that snake. Skulls, look at that. Oh yeah. I've seen these on shirts. These are good. Oh yeah. Refuse, confuse. Look at that. I love Skull, so you know I love this guy. Oh, I want that patch. Look at that. Nuke York. Oh yeah. Ugh, I feel his pain. Hmm. God. I love this style of art. It's just so, it's so raw. Oh yeah, you gotta get this book. All right. So you, you guys probably know um, the band The Replacements, right? Um, drunken, raucous, rock and roll. Um, the drummer um, is also a painter and I got this book, Tolerance. Chris Mars used to play drums and uh, now he uh, is a amazing nightmarish painter. And this was, um, I'm not sure, who put this out? I think maybe it had a, it corresponded with a, uh, an exhibit of his somewhere, but um, yeah, it's called Tolerance. Nice, thick, disgusting coffee table book full of surreal and um, horrifying artwork inside. Yep. All right, so um, let's take a look inside. We need some nightmarish material. So here we go. Oh yeah, look at her blind eye. Man. Stump. Nightmarish stuff for sure. Look at that. I love this. I need to get me a Chris Mars, not a Mick Mars, Chris Mars painting. Hang it in my, my bedroom. So good. Jeez, 4P, I wonder what that stands for. Some words by Chris Mars. Oh man, the Duke of nothing. <laughs> that guy's all right. Sometimes I see people like these walking down the street and uh, maybe even in, in the reflection. Damn. 
Heavy stuff. Yes. Whew. Ugh. That's Mel Durant. Yeah. Ooh. You you love that, didn't you? Chris Morris, tolerance. Oh, I picked this up at Kamikaze um, Comics as well. So, a lot of good stuff there. Okay, I love the band, the Melvins, right? Sludge, Doom, uh, Feedback Worship. And a few years ago, they put out this book called Neither Here Nor There. This one is a hardcover. There's also a softcover version, um, but uh, I opted to purchase the hardcover. And the um, cool thing about it is the band had autographed inside. Um, at this time, um, Kevin was playing bass, you know, Kevin from the Cows, and he signed his name Kevin Ass. And uh, this hardcover book uh, is close to my heart. I love the band Melvins. I love all their artwork. And uh, this definitely is a keeper. Um, also, I've got this um, CD that they've included. And uh, it hasn't been opened. It's still sealed. I don't, I don't even know what's on it. So um, let's take a look at Neither Here Nor There. Oh yeah, which one's your favorite? That one's my favorite. Eggnog. Look at that hair. Fucker! I wish I had that mask. Oh yeah, skull. It's cool how they have these like little half pages or little three quarter pages or whatever. What a cool book. Still unopened. Woo, heavy, right? Just like the band, Melvin's. Self-published, I believe. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, last book from my strange library. Um, I always marvel that there is a, a book um, about every subject in, um, in the world, right? And uh, when I found this book, I was like, well, yeah, that, that definitely is true. Um, this is um, Classical Paintings of Biblical Decapitation, and it's called Beheaded. I got this from Verbatim Books um, in North Park. And uh, you know, you might be able to find a lot of these books there at Verbatim. Uh, they've got an awesome selection and they even have a couple of cool like, um, like uh, bizarre sections that you can go in and find some really wild stuff. But uh, yeah, Beheaded. Um, this is um, published by Deicide Press. Now I don't think it's that Deicide, not the band. Um, Deicide Press. So if you are into this um, paintings of biblical uh, decapitation, it's very important, biblical, then uh, you probably need this book. So um, let us, uh, let's jump inside and see what uh, awaits us. Yikes. There he is. Bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia. Is that how you say it?
Don't ma D Davy and Goliath. Hey, Davy. John the Baptist. Beheaded. I like that font. And this, look at this guy right here. He's like, oh, I'm, he's he's done. So um. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a shorter program than usual. Um, I wanted to grab everybody's attention and uh, hopefully some of this artwork you um, are into. Um, never, never let somebody say that, um, you know, what you're into is, is not cool because uh, it's your thing, right? And no matter what it is, whether it be um, biblical decapitations or, um, you know, uh, Japanese uh, mutilations, if you're into it, you're into it. And um, yeah, so that's awesome. Thank you guys for um, tuning into this episode. Um, the next episode hopefully will be uh, a little sooner than a year, right? Um, and that will be like all of my like um, really, really like what the bleep books, strangest books in my strange collection. And I got a few of them, so it's going to be hard whittling them down. So anyways, um, I want you guys to uh, be good and uh, read strange books.